Hey guys, Julia from Crocoblock here. In this video, you'll learn how to set indexer option for filters. Why do you need it? Let's say you have an online shop and you want to hide the non-relevant results after the filtration was applied. No need to rack your brain, just optimize your filtration with the help of the indexer option. Right now, I'll show you how to enable and then how to customize it. Open dashboard, follow to Elementor, click on JetSmart filter settings, in Indexer menu, enable indexed filter functionality. And below, choose what post types you want to be indexed. As you can see, that could be any post type. In my case, that's products. Click Save once you're done. Now, I'm going to create filters. That's why, follow to Smart Filters on the dashboard. We have a catchy red button. It appears once you activate the indexer option. No need to push it right now. Let's create filters first. Click Add New, fill in the title, then Filters Labels. Choose your filter type, in my case that the checkboxes lists. Select Taxonomies at the data source. Click Publish to save the changes. I want to have three filters minimum, so the second would be the Select filter. To create this one, click Add New, fill in the title, then Filter Labels. Choose the filter type. Data source is Taxonomies. I want to filter the product by tags, therefore I choose the product tags as taxonomy. Click Publish to save the changes. The third filter is the check range filter. Click Add New, fill in the title, then Filter Labels, choose your filter type, the options list appear. Click New Option. For example, I set the first option as range in between $1 and $20. So the next would be $20 and $40, then $40 and $60. Choose the values prefix or suffix if needed. And one more important thing is to set the queried field key in query variable field. In my case, that's price, while I need to filter by product price. Once you're done, click Publish. Cool! We have three filters, tick checkbox and check range filters, and that's a high time to push the red button. This way, you activate the indexer option for these two filters. Now guys, let's have a look at how this option works with our products. But first, we need to add filters to them. That should be done in Elementor Page Builder. Open the page, find, drag and drop the checkboxes widget, select the needed filter and in the drop-down menu Filter 4 choose what you need to filter. In my case, I created filters for products. That's why here I choose the Jetwood Builder products grid. Apply type is Ajax and apply this filter on the value change option. With the active indexer option, the new section appears. Here, toggle on the apply indexer, then decide on whether to show counter or not. With this filter, I'll flip it on. If the item is empty, you can show, hide or disable it. Moreover, you have three variants of how the counter would change. Always, never, other filters changed. The second is select filter. Find, drag and drop it to the page, select the needed one, filter for again for Jet We Builder Products Grid, and choose Apply this filter on the Value Change option. And the last filter is the check range. The procedure is all the same. Find, drag and drop, select the filter, then the Jet We Builder Products Grid. Here also activate the Apply Indexer option. Toggle on the Show Counter if the item is empty, hide it and counter change always. Once you're done, save the changes. So let's filter the products. You see, the non-relevant categories and tags are inactive here and counter changes. While we flip the counter change option to always, some categories are hidden while there are no products for them. Hold on, I have one more thing to show you. I have the one filter without counter, select filter. Let's adjust it in Elementor. Activate the indexer option. Show counter, show if the item is empty, and always change the counter. Click update. Let's have a look. Do you see it? Just zeros everywhere. Hmm, I guess I forgot to hit the red button from the backend. Go to JetSmart Filters plugin on the dashboard, tick the select filter, push the button, go back to the page. See, we have working indexer now. My dearest and nearest, the moral of the tutorial is, with any products, categories, filter changes, remember to push this red button. 
after any update that can somehow influence on the future, just hit the red button. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more cool how-tos. See ya!